there, it's Q. Welcome to Hold and Modify, YouTube's most underproduced, poorly produced Amiga channel. And today I'm firing up good old PyMiga 2.0 because I did want to show off something that's pretty slick uh, in this system. And that is that it's fast. And you've seen uh, a number of my videos. I make my lightweight videos that we, uh, well, not all of you watch, but some of you watch. But I did want to show off the PyMiga's ability to kick out those pixels nice and fast at resolutions that you might not normally consider or do and uh, let's click over into Lightwave and I've got the Blade Runner scene loaded at 800 by 600 enhanced low motion blur is turned on this is a fairly aggressive uh, setting for the camera in Lightwave and as you can see here we have the spinner from Blade Runner the original movie from uh, 82 flying along here up in the record tab we're going to use the cyber graphics option of course you could use the ham mode or but since we're doing 800 by 600 we're going to do cyber graphics and that's going to fire off to the rtg card of your choice in this case the pymega has its own version of that we'll press f9 and what you're going to see almost immediately is uh, how fast it is it's incredibly fast and this is 800 by 600 enhanced low anti-aliasing which means it's going to smooth the pixels on the screen which means it has to render the image five times with enhanced low as i mentioned in the previous video and if you look down here at these numbers you're going to see this it'll say lights and it'll be a little parentheses and it's going to go by look, there you go right there look, look at this look how fast that is boom that was 34 lights processed in about what three seconds that is pretty stunning this is this is really fast. Now, of course, it's really fast because it is a Pi 400 running Pi Mega or Amaberry. But the point is, it is a system, a Mega system that you can just plug a micro SD card in once it's installed and turn it on, and you're in Amiga land. You don't have to worry about doing anything else. You're off and running with Amiga. And of course, Pi Mega does include all of that other amazing content music, videos, demos, games, and even. PC type games emulated to run on the uh, Amiga environment. So there's a lot of options and a lot of things to explore in Pi Amiga. Chris Edwards and his buddy over there at Amaberry have done an amazing job with this. And there you go. We have a beautiful 800 by 600 anti aliased image from the Blade Runner Lightwave content. Sorry if it's a little blown out there, but that is the spinner behind all those lens flares and you can see here the lens flare is circular so we're actually at the right aspect ratio and how long did that take one minute and 17 seconds well that's that's pretty astonishing considering the resolution here that's a pretty aggressive that's a near hd type resolution i would probably not ever do that on a my amiga 1200 to be honest even with the 68060 on it but uh, yeah, that's the uh, Pi 400 with Pi Mega jamming it out in Lightwave. Uh, I definitely could recommend it. I mean, you can see here how fast it's scrub scrubbing through the scene here. In fact, let's go ahead and say load scene. Let's pick something else. We've got the, uh, well, of course, we've got the classic uh, Babylon 5 station. Go ahead. That just loaded instantly. My gosh, that was amazing. And as you can see here, it's already redrawing it. In fact, I'm actually wondering... I bet you if we go here and we pick the camera and we move the camera let's uh well let's actually pick the camera let's pick the camera and move that's really fast already there that's pretty amazing let's move the camera in here we're going to push in a little closer come over here let's do a little little dutch bank again we're going to create a keyframe and now this is going to be way too fast of a camera move for only 30 frames but my point is what I want to show is, let's go here, let's see. So we've got this little camera move. I'm going to go to the light wave option, something I normally never do, go to layout view. And there's an option here called show redraw. Let's turn that on. Now what this is going to do is as the viewport updates, it shows you it drawing the polygons. Now this happens <laughs> so fast on this Pymega, whoop, whoop, it's done, that you don't even really get to see it draw those polygons it's there it is. it's just like boom and you have to remember when you see when you see this this viewport like this that's you know it's it's easy to think well it's not a render the, what's impressive about this we have to remember that especially back then 35 years ago showing a wireframe like this is the same as a render so when you press f9 and when i press f9 and we see this lovely little screen here 
where it shows you rendering all the polygons extremely quickly, by the way, on this Pymega. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculously fast. So when you see it rendering like this, you, that to you is rendering, right? But showing a wireframe is also rendering. Just, just using the, the program's interface is rendering. And it takes a lot of CPU calculation and power to show you this wireframe, okay? That's why if you go to the scene editor, you have options to actually show that it is, a, is not just a solid object, but is a, a bounding box or as points, you know, or every other polygon as I've shown in other videos. So this is rendering. It's not exciting rendering. It's wireframe two color rendering, but it is rendering. So that's impressive. That's my point is that you can see how fast here as I'm scrubbing, it just almost instantly can redraw, re-render that giant Babylon 5 station. That's, that's pretty freaking cool actually. Uh, let's go up here and that's 640 by 480 and we're set to cyber graphics. Let's go ahead and press F9 and let's let that finish this. Now, I did not adjust the segment memory. That's why you're seeing it rendering in these, these tile stripes. That's why I always say, remember to increase your segment memory so you're only rendering in one segment and that way it'll render much faster. Although this is still so fast that it's ridiculous. So here you go, here's the cyber graphics render of the 640 by 480. Now the cyber graphics screen is set to 800 by 600 and it is set to auto scale the image. So that's why the Babylon 5 station looks a little oblong and weird here, okay? Now one of the things you can do, you can just render native resolution that you've set for the cyber graphics option, which is 800 by 600. And obviously with this Pymega, you absolutely could do that as I've shown, or you can go to your cyber render prefs and you can turn off scale picture to fit, click save, Come back here, and this time when you press F9, when the render comes up, it won't scale it to fit that 800 by 600 screen, and you'll see a more one-to-one -one image. And as you'll see here, it will be one-to-one, -one, but it's obviously going to be a little smaller on the screen because it's not scaling it to fit. But not too much smaller, because 640 by 480 is not drastically smaller than 800 by 600. So there you go. You have a nice one-to-one -one looking image of that B5 station rendered very quickly on the Pymega. That took 15 seconds for a very, honestly, this is pretty much the settings that they used on the show to render it. So 15 seconds, well, if they had that back then, we would have had a lot more uh, uh, space shots in Babylon 5. All right, well, that's it. I just wanted to give this short little video on Pymega. I haven't done one of these in a while and I always love checking out what Chris and the guys are doing with this and it's blazingly fast as always. Thanks for watching.